I don't think everybody's gonna be rich, but everybody's gonna it's everybody's gonna have a point in their life where they have some thousands of dollars today. If you ain't got no money, then I mean, I don't know. You still need to learn how to save money because you're gonna you're gonna have money. Rappers love to live the fast life. As soon as they get one hit song, it's straight to the jewelry store for a lot of expensive jewelry and buying more cars than they can actually drive. So it's not surprising that most of them eventually fall off and go broke while trying to keep up with the expensive lifestyle. The new ones on the scene are pressured by other hip-hop artists to make bad money decisions and fall into the deep hole of flexing. While some realize early enough and put aside some money for smart investments, others get in a little too deep and have their cars repossessed or get kicked out of their houses for not paying rent. Some even get hit with lawsuits worth more than their debt. Luckily, some of them have been able to recover from those dark moments and go on to make six figures monthly, but others have not. So let's take a look at some of these rappers that let their spending habits take them towards the deep end. Before we dive in, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 7. Offset we all know Offset is one of the rappers in the group Migos, and of course Cardi B's boo. Every other day we see them exchange super expensive gifts, from million dollar cars to Birkin bags. But what a lot of people don't know is that Offset did go broke at some point. I don't think that anyone should be too surprised that it had something to do with his jewelry collection. Offset goes over the top with his ice, as he's got the raindrop piece, Freakazoid, and the trap house chain. What if we told you that he doesn't pay for his jewelry in full? Well, it turns out that Governs Fine Jewelry, a jewelry store just outside Atlanta, filed a lawsuit against Offset about disagreements on jewelry that he borrowed. The rapper got multiple pieces of jewelry from the store, worth as much as $200,000. The store requested payments for these pieces, including two tennis bracelets for about three months, and when Offset wasn't reaching into his pockets, they had no choice but to sue. You would think that this incident would teach him to be more careful with how he spends on expensive items. Apparently, it didn't. Offset got sued in 2018 when he refused to pay a stylist in 2018 for clothing worth more than $11,000. Now that's just cold. Number 6. Tyga Tyga's a rapper who is no stranger to being owed money. He had to sue Birdman just to get what he had willingly given out to another artist signed to cash money. So it's weird that Tyga would do the same to other people and refuse to pay what he owes them. He missed out on monthly payments for his Land Rover and Ferrari and they both got repoed. But that's not all. Tyga got evicted from two California mansions when he couldn't keep up with paying the extravagant rent. More times than we can count, the rapper's gotten sued for defaulting on payments for luxury items. Then there are the jewelers, who accused Tyga of not paying for jewelry from their stores in 2018. Later it got revealed that he had failed to pay his taxes since 2011 and owed the IRS almost a million dollars. He hadn't even gotten over this situation with the IRS before he signed a lease in 2019 for a mansion in the Santa Monica Mountains. Guess the monthly payment? $58,000. Looks like some people just don't learn. Number 5. Young Thug One thing most rappers have in common is that they love to look flashy with ice on their wrists and necks. Quite a lot of them have gone broke from trying to keep their body shiny, and one of them is Young Thug. This rapper was a huge customer of Icebox Jewelry Store in Atlanta until their relationship turned sour and eventually resulted in a lawsuit. This jewelry store is a favorite among many rappers, including Lil Pump, Lil Baby, Trippy Red, and NLE Choppa. However, they just couldn't stand Young Thug's debt anymore, after he had gotten over $200,000 worth of jewelry without paying. The agreement was that he would pay it off within a short time, but Young Thug was only able to cough out $97,000. Of course, they weren't pleased with this and sued the rapper for the balance and $250,000 in damages. There was still a lot of back and forth, as Young Thug's lawyers claimed that they never agreed on a payment plan and the store was being predatory. Then news broke out that the Atlanta rapper had been fined $145,000 by the IRS for failing to pay his 2014 and 2015 taxes, which was about $176,000. Number 4. Lil Wayne Here's another rapper that people believe is one of the greatest of all time. But this doesn't mean that Lil Wayne hasn't had his fair share of financial trouble. Over the course of his 20-year career, the rapper had to face a lawsuit in 2014 from a private jet company. This company claimed that he had leased a jet from them, but owed about a million dollars from missed payments. Then things got a little more serious when the IRS revealed that Lil Wayne owed more than $12 million in unpaid taxes. That's $6.8 million in 2011 and $7.3 million in 2012. If you didn't have any idea about this then, it's because Lil Wayne did a good job of keeping it really hush. Still, he was able to get out of this debt mess thanks to a big help from Jay-Z. 
By March 2018, he had paid off more than $14 million to all those he owed, and Jay-Z took care of the IRS debacle. We can't know for sure if he pulled some strings using his connections in the IRS, or gave Wayne the cash he needed to pay his debts. Still, it's cool that this respected artist was able to come through for the rapper. Number 3. 50 Cent No doubt about it, 50 Cent is one of the best rappers of all time, and a relentless social media troll. He doesn't hide his wealth in any way, especially flaunting trucks filled with millions of dollars on his YouTube channel. So it's quite shocking that despite how showy he was with his finances, he had to file for bankruptcy in 2015. While 50 Cent was actually broke, he was also using this as a tactic to avoid paying people he owed. Rick Ross's Baby Mama and Sleek Audio were just two out of the many suing him for what he owed them until the bankruptcy case closed in 2016. 50 Cent and his legal team agreed that they would spend the next five years paying more than $23 million to all those who had filed lawsuits against him. That took more than $300,000 every month, and hopefully he learned a few things from this broke phase. Number 2. Lil Xan Back in 2017, Lil Xan came into the limelight when the music video for his song The Betrayed blew up. The video got featured on Lyrical Lemonade, and it looked like this would be one of the biggest up-and-coming acts in the hip-hop industry. Then Columbia Records signed him a couple of months later. He released his debut album Total Xanarchy, and most fans thought this was it. The rise of a big star. Except they were so wrong. In 2018, Lil Xan stopped focusing on music and started engaging in petty drama. First, there was the publicity stunt he had with Noah Cyrus that did a lot of damage to his reputation and career. This affected his music, which started a steady decline. From 2018 to 2020, the rapper couldn't release any hit song that would help him stage a comeback. But here's the funny thing. While his finances and career kept going down, his spending habits were going up. Lil Xan is so big on the flashy lifestyle and is still trying to prove that he has it all together. Number 1. Lil Pump When Gucci Gang went viral in 2017, this was all Lil Pump needed to start living large. He has a knack for buying things just for buying sake, and not the cheap kind either. Lil Pump paid millions of dollars for a mansion close to Miami Beach and didn't hold back when it comes to splurging on rentals for Lamborghinis. But then he had to learn that one viral hit is not enough to keep the money flowing in and his career alive. His sophomore studio album Harvard Dropout was a disappointment as none of the singles in the album got any radio play. But the album went gold, right? Well, that was only because of I Love It, a song he featured Kanye West in. The twist here is that it was released in September 2018, so that doesn't exactly count. Still, Lil Pump is still trying to keep up appearances as he maintains a wide jewelry collection. Number 1. Blueface after dropping the song Thotiana in 2018, which went super viral in 2019, Blueface was steadily moving into the rich and famous gang. His career was also looking good, especially when he got selected as the number one pick for the XXL freshman list in 2019. As you know, that list has had a lot of big names on it, rappers who've become a big deal in the industry. Unfortunately, it wasn't the same for Blueface. After the Thotiana hype started dying down, the rapper's numbers quickly followed, as he wasn't able to recreate the success he had with that hit song. Blueface released some songs, and they didn't even chart. By 2020, his debut album Find the Beat, which had been delayed several times, didn't even do half the streams that Thotiana did. But while he was riding on the success of the song, the rapper was really loud with his spending habits, splurging on houses and chains. Now he pretty much can't keep up anymore, and with the lack of music being put out, things can only go downhill from here. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Is there anyone you think deserved a spot on our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you want to see more awesome videos like this. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.